How about that Cowboys defense? And welcome once again to Tom's Hit Parade. It is a new month, and yes, that means it's time for one of my favorite features every month, Bargain Bag. This is my monthly hunt for buried audio treasure in the form of two mystery CD grab bags from the late Skips Records and CD World. I always have a gr great deal of fun opening these. Between opening the two bags, I will review a CD that I have found or that you may be likely to find in the bargain section of a CD retailer near you. But before I go to any of that stuff, I will go over the CDs that I got in last month's pair of bargain bags for your amusement. So let's get right on into that. First one is Handel's Water Music. It's a staple of the classical oeuvre, if you will. You know, so nothing really to say about it, you know. It's it's the water music by Handel. And then we have uh, another one that's kind of, you know, not much to say about it. It's uh, called Rax, Stacks, and Feedback. It is a hard rock heavy metal compilation. Uh, Slaughter, Motorhead, Deep Purple, and Iron Maiden. So, yeah, kind of stuff that you would probably hear on the radio at some point or uh, maybe even have on other CDs. So nothing great about this. But uh, And before I go any further, if you want any of the cast-off CDs that I have here that I'm not interested in keeping, let me know, Give me a, send me a direct message on Twitter or leave me a message in the comments. We can uh, connect further and you can give me your address and I can send these to you free of charge. I won't even ask you to pay postage. So uh, uh, here we go into the weird and wonderful stuff that I don't know, didn't know what to expect of. This is, as I read the liner notes, it's a band called Galaxy. And what struck me by surprise was that it's not a uh, orchestral band as I expected it would be like, you know, like a marching band, but it's actually a rock band. It is made up of uh, U.S. Air Force uh, soldiers, current and former. And it is a commemoration, in fact, of the 50th anniversary of the Air Force. So, hey, if you love supporting the troops and you would like to have this CD, as I said, hit me up, let me know. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's okay. Music-wise, it's okay. I kind of hate to say, you know, an underwhelming thing about our, our soldiers in uniform. But, you know, just purely from a musical standpoint, it didn't really impress me all that much, uh, although they did do a few covers that were actually very, very good. A cover of uh, a Space Hog song called In the Meantime, which I think was a minor hit on radio, and Alanis Morissette's Ironic, as well as Waterfalls by TLC. They were good enough, but honestly, they were pretty much just imitations of the, of the originals. They didn't really put any new spin on them. That's why I kind of deduct points for that. And there was one really good instrumental song on here late in the CD called Sidewalk Shuffle. That was really cool. It's kind of had a contemporary jazz or fusion jazz thing going for it, but that was really the only song that moved me at all uh, from this album, but uh, yeah, you know, you never know what it's going to be like until you hear it, right? And uh, moving on here, we have Jeff Defty, uh, The Descent of Inanna. This is New Age world music kind of stuff. Uh, was not my thing, really, as is usually the case with these bargain bag CDs. They're not my thing. Doesn't mean they're bad, they're just not my thing. Uh, and here we have uh, Travel Card, I think is the name of the band, SFT, or maybe it's SFT is the name of the band and Travel Card is the name of the album, I'm not sure. But it's, it's a instrumental electronica, semi-industrial sort of stuff. Uh, you know, not much, not much to say about it other than, you know, yeah, not my thing. Then we have a rock uh, EP, this was three studio tracks and a live cut by a band called Slender Means. Pretty unremarkable, in my opinion, rock. Yeah. Then we have a hip-hop album, a guy named Snowman. It's an early 90s hip-hop. I didn't care for it much, I'm as, but as you know, I'm not much of a hip-hop person in general. So, Starting to get close to the albums that I'm thinking about keeping. Uh, there are actually three in this, bet, in this batch. Uh, the Ape Hangers, this is an, an alt-rock band. Yeah, alt-rock pop punk in between there. They were okay. They had a song on the soundtrack from a movie I really enjoyed called Empire Records. But yeah, other than that, other than that uh, you know, the, it's fairly indistinguishable stuff. I didn't, you know, didn't really strike me, you know. And then we have a couple of uh, hard rock style albums. The 360s, I think, is the name of the band. Supernatural is the album. Yeah, not bad. You're kind of your run-of-the-mill hard rock. 1992 is uh, the year in which it was made. So Then we have another uh, hard rock album. Geofria, this is, I believe, their sophomore album when I uh, looked them up. Silk and, Silk and Steel is the name of the album. Meh. Hair, hair metal, hard rock stuff. You know. 
as I said, if you want any of these CDs, let me know. But there were actually, as I said, three albums that I've decided to keep. I kind of liked. Uh, this one is called a band called Rust, and the album is Bar Chord Ritual. Odd name. But yeah, it, it's hard rock. Uh, leans a bit, bit more toward the screamo type of stuff uh, in a few of the cuts. Than I, more than I care for. I don't really care for the screamo stuff, but uh, there is little enough on it, or it's you know it's mild enough that I I actually kind of like this album. The, the melodies are very promising. Uh, the songs have good melodies to them, and uh, I, this is going to be definitely get a few more listens to me from me, I should say, before I decide whether or not to give it up. But uh, yeah, I think that one is going to grow on me. As are these other two. This one, Rob Heath. Uh, he is a pop rock singer-songwriter kind of stuff. Uh, I was not expecting good things from this album just because it kind of looked a little, you know, it looked a little corny. Maybe it's just me. But uh, anyway, yeah, it, the songs turned out to be surprisingly good. I'm actually thinking about uh, not only keeping this album, but uh, seeking out his other stuff and uh, giving it a little bit more of a, a listen. So, And yeah, I, I think it'll, it'll grow on me. This uh, some, of the, some really good songs on there. And the last of the... Uh, um, oh, there's actually, I forgot to mention, there were... You will notice that I've I've gone over 13 albums with this other one. Uh, there was a 14th, but uh, we took a load to the uh, St. Vinny's or Goodwill the other day. And uh, so, if by the way, if you wanted any of the CDs from the last bargain bag, too late, they're already gone. Uh, and one of them that actually from this set of bargain bags went with it, I forgot to set it aside, but I didn't really have any mean reason to, because it was one of those uh, praise and worship CDs that I knew I was not going to listen to, so I didn't even bother. So yeah, that one's gone, unfortunately. Uh, but if you really, really had your, had your heart set on it, uh, I don't know, pray for it, I guess. Just just a good-natured joke for the Christians out there. Not making fun of you guys. That was, that was funny. Trying to be funny. What can I say? Anyway, the last CD in last month's Bargain Bags is Fritz Reynold and the Bostonian Friends. It's, it's a mouthful of a name. Uh, but, and the album's called Starlight. And this is uh, big band jazz uh, arrangements. And I, I kind of like this stuff. It's, I, it's mostly uh, uh, original songs, a few covers of classic uh, 30s and 40s tunes on it. But yeah, I really enjoy this stuff. I'm, I'm going to give it at least a few more listens. I, I, yeah, I rather liked it. So yeah, that is the rundown of CDs from last month. I'm keeping three out of 14, so yeah, not a bad average, right? So now let's dive on into the first of two CD bargain bags. Got my trusty old scissors here as we carve into the bag. Okay, let's see what we got here. Trying not to peek uh, in a, ahead of time. I want it to be a total surprise. What do we have here? We have God's Child. Yeah, Warner Brothers Quest, so it's a major label. Uh, yeah, I'm not expecting it to be religious music. Uh, just, just because they have a name like God's Child doesn't mean it's going to be religious, right? Yeah. Don't panic, Tom. Oh, this is kind of appropriate since it's uh, December's just around the corner. A Music Box Christmas, performed by, by James Franklin Bork. Can never have too many Christmas. Well, actually, I suppose you could have too many Christmas CDs. I, I've got uh, oh, probably forty or fifty. So, anyway, then we have uh, this. Looks like oh, it's a classical CD. Uh, Copland, Chopin, and Mussorgsky. Uh, William Kappel is the artist's name. Uh, I guess the piano. Yeah. Not huge on classical music, as I mentioned before, so... Uh, oh, and another classical CD. <laughs> Yay! It's good background music, honestly. A, a good amount of classical music is good background music. Uh, from Liszt, Poème Symphonique. Symphonic poems. So, the Budapest Festival Orchestra. Mm. Wow, another classical CD. Uh, Debussy, Rimsky-Korshkov, and Brodin. What can you say about classical albums? I mean, honestly, there's not much to say about them. And, oh, this is interesting. Uh, this would have been Sting's uh, Sacred Love, except no CD. Thanks, Skip. I'll be expecting my money back for that. And then we have... How ironic is this? Skip. Different skip, though, as you can probably tell. Uh, live from Holly Grove. I'm going to assume this is uh, hip-hop. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty uh, interesting coincidence, yeah. Skip. There we go. There's your first bargain bag.
And now let's go ahead into the Spotlight CD review for this month's bargain bag video. Now, CDs that are in the bargain section pretty much fall under two categories. They're either CDs that nobody's ever heard of, they're really obscure, nobody knows who they are or who the musician is or, or what kind of music is on them, and that's why they're in the bargain section. Or they're CDs that everybody pretty much has heard of and knows about or, or has owned at one time or another and decided to sell them off, got tired of them, and so the stores end up with a ton of them, and that's why they're in the bargain section. And this CD falls under the latter, uh, but in my opinion, it's even though it's been around a lot, it's uh, had a lot of attention over the years, it's still it's one of my favorites from the early 90s. It is Amy Grant's album Heart in Motion. Now, if you haven't heard this album, uh, give it a listen. And it went, it's gone. It went five times platinum, I think it was. And it was a top 10 album on the Billboard 200. Uh, I believe this was her best-selling album. And Amy Grant, of course, is uh, primarily a Christian artist, uh, Christian pop, but uh, this was one of her first real forays into secular music, and uh, hence its presence on the uh, Billboard charts. And you could uh, be forgiven for mistaking this CD for a compilation of best of uh, early 90s radio pop, because uh, I think five at least of the singles were huge hits on radio back in the early 90s. Uh, good for me, baby, baby. Every heartbeat, that's what love is for, and I will remember you. So, and for some of you, even just hearing the titles of those songs will just pop the melodies right into your head. So, uh, but yet, I mean, all, all five of those songs were huge hits on uh, mainstream pop radio. And there are even a couple of songs in here that have um, lyrics of faith, you know, that go back to her, her Christian music roots, so to speak. And, and they were hits on Christian radio, so... For those of you uh, true believers, if you will, um, there's something on here for you to uh, to, to glean uh, meaning to and, and to, you know, sink your uh, your faith into the lyrics. I guess that's the best way I can put it with my brain being what it is right now. Um, I actually, just a side note, I did not make notes for this video. This is all off the cuff. Uh, this was going to be a relatively quick video because I didn't have a whole lot uh, interesting to say about it. It actually took me a little uh, effort to think up a good uh, bargain bag CD review to uh, to do this month, but anyway, not that this album is not worth your attention. Listen to it if you if you have not listened to it yet. It's there's a reason why it was one of the one of my favorite albums of the 90s. Uh, Amy Grant, Heart in Motion. Uh, yeah, it's just got a bunch of a bunch of great songs on it. As I said, uh, You Are Not Alone is one of the songs. I don't think that was a single, or if it was, it was a low charting one. But that's got some great lyrics to it also. And but yeah, you know the sound is very much mainstream eight, uh, early 90s radio pop very ear can ear friendly you know not sickly ear candy sweet kind of stuff but just you know very very enjoyable songs uh, so yeah and also her follow-up album um house of love is really enjoyable as well but yeah if you have not heard heart in motion by amy grant give it a try definitely uh it's yeah wonderful wonderful album what can i say and now going into the final leg of today's video opening the second bargain bag there aren't as many classical CDs in this bag. Assuming I can get my scissors around it. Okay, there we go. Okay, no classical CDs. We'll see if that works. Okay, first album. <laughs> it didn't work. Uh, Georgi Ligeti. I am probably completely butchering that name. Actually, it, well, it looks like it's it's this person's own composition, so it may, it may be contemporary classical. Uh, as contemporary as 1985 goes, but yeah. Uh, hey, what can I say? How can I complain at how little these albums cost me? They were little, literally pennies a piece. Uh, oh yeah, more classical. Family Circle String Favorites from Family Circle magazine, of course. Uh, Eine kleine Nachtmusik. That's that's a classic of of uh, the classical repertoire. Uh, Serenade for Strings by Tchaikovsky. Yeah. Yeah, when, when Skip uh, had his store, he used to have the um, separate bags for classical CDs, so I'm kind of surprised. I'm kind of thinking these were some of the bags that he was assembling as the store was closing, because you know, he had to get rid of all the CDs, so he probably just lumped the classical CDs in with the regular CDs. Uh, here we have Jim Irwin, Oregon Bound. It, it is vocal, so it looks like it's an acoustic pop sort of stuff. So we'll see what it's like. And then, oh, Ken Ballard presents Ken's Country. I have a feeling the listening for this bargain bag will go very quickly. Nothing against Ken Ballard. 
and, and in all fairness, I have not listened to this yet. I could fall in love with it. I fell in love with uh, Rob Heath, and I didn't expect to, so you never know, right? Then we have, yay, more classical. Oh, uh, the most relaxing classical album in the world ever. So, uh, and it's actually, actually a two-disc set, so I might actually end up keeping this one. Unless I already have it. No, the one I have is, it's a two-disc set, but the spine is blue, so I don't think that's the one I have. Unless it's just a repackaging. But anyway, see, we have the Chiaroscuro Songbook. Interesting. I have no idea what this is. Woody Herman, Gus Johnson, Maxine Sullivan. Okay. Looks like it'll be interesting, if nothing else. And yay, more classical. Debussy at Dawn. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably actually, when I'm at work, I like to put on some sort of music that just kind of fades in the background. It's music, obviously, I can't actually listen to music. I'm, I'm face uh, a, a public workstation, so I can't have, you know, jam out to my tunes in private. So, you know, classical is always okay for that. So yay, I have a bunch of classical music to listen to. Whoopee. Uh, but, hey, as I said, how can I complain when these CDs were pennies apiece? Uh, you know, well, except maybe for that uh, empty CD case, Skip. Seriously, uh, Skip's a good guy. He's I, I, I love him to death. Uh, he's actually sending me a box of Christmas CDs because I commented on one of his Facebook posts of you know that I, I'm I'm always up for cheesy Christmas music. So he's sending me a, a box of a dozen CDs. I'll probably open that on the channel just to show you what I got. Uh, but anyway, enough rambling. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my bargain bag video for November 2019. I can't believe it's almost December. Holy crap. But anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Suggestions, questions, constructive criticisms, lay them on me in the comments section below. Also, scroll down to the des description for the link to my Twitter feed and links to my favorite fellow YouTubers who are all worth checking out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and browse my past videos, and be sure to ring that notifications bell so you'll be the first to know each time I drop a new video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and remember, life's too short to be a music snob.